Hello everyone, welcome to our in-depth analysis and review of the most prominent laser cutters on the market today. In this video, we're putting the X-Tool S1, Creality Falcon 2 Pro, We Create Vision, iCure K1 Pro Max, and Glowforge Aura head-to-head. -head. We'll be analyzing important factors such as safety, work area size, upgradability, software capabilities, and brand reliability. Whether you're a hobbyist or a seasoned professional, this comparison is sure to help you make the right choice. The first thing we're going to examine in this review is safety, as it's one of the more important features we should expect in high-end laser machines. Starting with the X-Tool S1, it's Class 1 FDA certified, which represents the highest safety level among laser machines. In addition to that, it also has a Class 1 laser detection certification from the International Institution SGS and is currently undergoing more testing by TUV to receive an additional certification. The X-Tool S1 is in no way lacking in safety features. It is eye-friendly, featuring a large, high-transparency cover, which offers excellent dual-wavelength filtering capabilities. So, you don't have to deal with safety glasses. It also has 5-direction flame detection, lid open safety stop, emergency stop design, and more. All of this makes X-Tool a truly enclosed and safe machine, and we give it a 10 out of 10 rating for safety. The next machine is the WeCreate Vision which is similarly Class 1 FDA certified. Its color wooden materials are FSC certified, Restriction of Hazardous Substances Directive compliant, and their UV ink is SGS approved. We create is also not lacking in safety features, as it has a blue light filter, auto stop function, and a flame retardant polycarbonate top lid, and a full auto lifting metal enclosure that protects against fire, which can effectively contain smoke and fumes. The company also recommends purchasing their fume extractor to ensure clean air. Considering all of this, the Vision deserves nothing less than a 10 out of 10 safety rating. The Creality Falcon 2 Pro is also an FDA-certified laser machine. It comes equipped with five advanced safety protections, including a flame detector, bidirectional limit switch, safety lock, emergency stop button, and laser detection cover, all designed to mitigate accidental operation and ensure user safety, Additional certifications for the Falcon 2 include FCC, ROS, and PSE. But since it's not Class 1, we give it a 7 out of 10 rating for safety. Now let's move to the iCure K1 Pro Max. This one has a bunch of certifications, such as FDA, FCC, and ROS. But to its detriment, it is not enclosed. And although it's FDA certified, we didn't find any claim that it's Class 1, which means you're going to have to take adequate precautions for your eyes and lungs especially considering its open design. It does come with a pair of cheap safety glasses, but it's better to invest in more premium safety items if you're planning to purchase this machine. That said, the iCure does have some safety features, which include a physical switch key, a sensitive gyroscope, displacement detection, and flame detection. All of this, unfortunately, only lends it a safety rating of 4 out of 10. The last machine is the Glowforge Aura. It is fully enclosed, and has a class 4 rated laser, which is harmful and could cause skin and eye injuries when exposed to. However, Blowforge circumvents this problem by fully encasing the laser in a class 1 rated enclosure, which allows their product to be designated as class 1 during all procedures of operation. Despite this classification, as far as our research goes, Blowforge has never explicitly stated that the Aura is FDA certified, which is detrimental to this product's safety rating. The Aura also lacks most of the safety features, which are included in the other products on this list, only featuring a transparent protective cover and an air filter. Therefore, it will receive a safety rating of 6 out of 10, which is barely above average. After establishing which of the machines is safest, we move on to comparing their work area, which is a particularly important specification that could greatly enhance a laser cutter's productivity. Once again, we will start with the X-Tool S1 which comes with a processing area comparable to mainstream CO2 lasers, with a maximum support of 498 by 330 millimeters of processing area. It also supports larger format creations, with the automatic feeding accessory extending up to 3,000 millimeters, allowing limitless creativity. The work area size of this laser cutter is certainly one of the biggest in the market. Due to that, it reduces the need for material preparation. So, Materials can be processed directly in the machine. Not only that, but a larger work area also allows processing more materials at once, which greatly improves efficiency in batch processing cycles. 
A 10 out of 10 rating for the X tool in this specification is exactly what it deserves. Moving on to the next machine, which is the Wii Create Vision, with a work area of 420 by 290 millimeters. This makes it the fourth largest work area on this list. In addition to that, the Vision also has a maximum material dimension of 475 millimeters by 318 millimeters and a maximum workpiece height of 140 millimeters without a laser bed and 100 millimeters with a laser bed. All in all, the Vision has ample space for most projects and gets a work area rating of 9 out of 10. The Creality Falcon 2 Pro is the second largest on this list, with a work area of 400 by 415 millimeters. This larger work area is quite efficient, as the machine maintains a relatively compact footprint compared to how much space it offers. Although the Creality Falcon 2 Pro has a very spacious working area, it doesn't have any outstanding measurements or features that would better help utilize its working area. For that, it receives a 9 out of 10 rating. Next is the iCure K1 Pro Max, which has the biggest work area among its contenders on this list, barely beating the Falcon 2 Pro and coming in at 410 by 410 millimeters. And just like the Falcon 2 Pro, it doesn't feature any accessories that better help utilize its working space. This also leaves the iCure with a rating of 9 out of 10. Lastly, we have the Glowforge Aura, which has by far the smallest working area among its contenders only providing an area of 305 by 305 millimeters. It also has a maximum material thickness of 0.75 inches. And thanks to its pass-through slots, you can feed material of any length up to 12 inches wide and 0.18 inches thick. All of this makes the Aura utilize its working area quite efficiently. However, we're still going to take out a couple of points due to its very small working area. It gets a rating of 8 out of 10. The next metric we're going to analyze is the upgradability of these machines, only one of which reigns supreme. The X-Tool S1 offers switchable laser modules as a path to upgrade for users who have purchased the S1 10W or 20W. This allows for powerful cutting and engraving on many materials with only one machine. On the other hand, none of the other laser cutters on the list have any built-in and easy way to upgrade, which makes them a lot less versatile especially if you want to work on a wide range of projects that require cutting different materials with different hardness measurements. This leads us to give the X-Tool a 10 out of 10 rating on upgradability, while the other machines get a 0 out of 10. Don't worry, however, to balance the ratings of these machines and not overrate the X-Tool, we will be multiplying each sub-rating by a certain factor. And while upgradability is quite useful, not having it doesn't render a laser cutter completely useless, thus, it'll have a lower factor in the overall rating of these machines, which will be revealed at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. The fourth metric we're going to investigate is the software of these laser machines, as it's crucial for control and precision, ease of use, versatility, and a variety of other functions that make the machine's experience simpler and more efficient. The X-Tools Free XCS 2.0 software works on many devices, from phones to laptops, is compatible with Lightburn, and has a bunch of features and shortcuts, such as 300 plus press it parameters, circular positioning, and 3D curve and engraving, just to name a few. There are many more than you can count, and they all contribute to ease of use and skyrocketing productivity. For this, it deserves nothing less than a 10 out of 10 for its software. The We Create Vision offers We Create Make It, a beginner friendly app offering preset parameters, project ideas, tutorials, and even AI drawing tools. All of that can be utilized without having any prior design experience, and to top it all off, this software is also compatible with Lightburn, so we can safely give the Vision a 10 out of 10 rating for software. Next is the Creality Falcon 2 Pro. The company does not offer its own in-house software, which will unfortunately take out quite a few points from its rating. However, the situation here is not entirely hopeless because Creality has designed the Falcon 2 Pro to be compatible with leading software solutions like Laser GRBL and Lightburn, supporting both Windows and macOS platforms. For this reason, we're going to give it an average software rating of 5 out of 10. Moving on to the iCure K1 Pro Max, this one does have an app, which makes it work only on a phone. However, you can get it to work via your laptop or desktop, since it's also compatible with Laser GRBL and Lightburn. Although we did find that it does have occasional bugs and glitches, so we'll only give it a 6 out of 10 rating for software. 
The Glowforge Aura uses an app for Android, iOS, Mac, and Windows. The machine can connect to the internet over Wi-Fi, and from there it is controlled via the app, but only a select number of features are accessible. To access the rest, you will need a premium subscription. This machine is not compatible with Lightburn or any other third-party software as far as we've been able to gather. For this reason, the best rating we can give this machine in terms of software is a 6 out of 10. The last point we're going to touch on is brand reliability. This is a quite subjective matter, and it differs from consumer to consumer. So we're not giving a rating based on it. However, what we can say is that most of these brands are established and well-known, so you can generally expect a good experience dealing with them. Xtool has a very active official community in the laser circle, with over 100,000 members, so it's easier to find information and solutions. They also offer a comprehensive after-sales service via Facebook, email, phone, and loud chat, as well as an innovative accessories ecosystem and access to more user experiences and professional tutorials. Creality is a well-established name in the 3D printing industry, has expanded its offerings to include laser cutters, leveraging its reputation for producing quality products. We create, known for its precision and user-friendly features, has earned the trust among users seeking reliable laser cutting solutions. IKEA, although potentially newer to the market, has been making strides in building a reputation for dependable machines backed by good customer support. Finally, Glowforge, with its innovative designs and user-friendly interface, has garnered a loyal following, despite occasional concerns regarding reliability and customer service. In conclusion, our comprehensive analysis has shed light on the strengths and weaknesses of each laser machine across various critical metrics. In terms of safety, the X-Tool S1, We Create Vision, and Creality Falcon 2 Pro emerge as top contenders with robust safety features and certifications while the iCure K1 Pro Max and Glowforge Aura fall short in this aspect. Regarding work area size, each machine offers a different level of versatility, with the iCure K1 Pro Max boasting the largest work area, closely followed by the Creality Falcon 2 Pro and We Create Vision. However, the Glowforge Aura lags behind with a smaller work area. Upgradeability is a standout feature of the X-Tool S1, providing users with the flexibility to enhance performance over time. In contrast, the other machines lack built-in upgrade options. Software plays a crucial role in the user experience, with the X-Tool S1 and We Create Vision offering highly intuitive and feature-rich software solutions. However, the Glowforge Aura's reliance on its proprietary app may limit its versatility compared to others compatible with third-party software. Brand reliability varies among the manufacturers, with X-Tool and Creality enjoying established reputations. While we create, IKEA and Blowforge are also making strides in building trust within the industry. Considering each machine's scores on each metric, the overall ratings are as follows X Tool with a 10 out of 10 score, we create with 8.6 out of 10, Creality with a 6 out of 10, IKEA with a score of 5.3 out of 10, and lastly, Glowforge with a 5.7 out of 10. Before we end the video, there is one more thing that's worth noting which is Xtool's ongoing trade-in program. This program allows users with a laser machine or vinyl cutting machine to visit their website, provide proof of their previous purchase, and receive an exclusive traded discount code without the need to send their machine to Xtool, making it easy to upgrade. That said, I hope everyone was able to benefit from this comprehensive review. And if you like more in-depth reviews like this one, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel.